What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and here I'm going to show you how to fully upgrade your weapon in the first 10 minutes and by upgrade all I mean by this maximum crunching acid which you need 5 to fully upgrade and I'm not actually doing a specific weapon I'm just showing you how to quickly get the 5 acids so you can fully upgrade any weapon of your choice and you get each weapon other than the weapon you begin with, the Hallowed Sword, there's three more you can get and they're basically at the start of each of the three sort of dungeon-like areas. So to begin with guys, we're coming down here, just from where you start, come down here, take a right, follow the sort of stream downwards and you'll come over here. And what we're doing first, we're, we're coming sort of round the back of Fulgrim Tower, a tunnel that leads to Fulgrim Tower where the Grisha is located because we want to get a, a nascent tar and what that does it gives you two and a half it gives you two and a half thousand tar and with that you can buy one quenching acid from the vendor now if you do get that nascent tar that gives you two and a half thousand you can't you cannot get any more of them except for when you defeat the bosses guys so use that wisely there are more quenching acids than what I show you here. I'm just showing this sort, sort of the quickest, quickest and easiest way to get five acids to begin with. There are other ways. So if you want to use some nails, you can do and get another acid another way. But this is the quickest way to do it. So that chest, guys. The reason I came that way is because then you don't have to deal with them bandits around the camp. If you come that way, stick to the right as you approach it. You should only have one enemy behind you. You can smash the twigs, open the chest, and then quickly run past them. Enemies sat, sat around the campfire before they get a chance to attack. Coming the other way, it means you trigger them before you get to the chest, and so they're likely all going to swarm you and block you in on the chest and kill you. Yeah, they'll kill you, you little foundling. So we've come through that tunnel now, past Grisha. We've come through here, and up to... Sinesta Yanessa. Together. Together. We've we spoke to her because once you spoke to her for the first time, um, what will happen is when you die, you'll respawn back at her and you'll get you'll get a tarnished mask and we need that. So what we're doing now, we've spoke to Sinesta Yanessa. We're coming up here now. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong. <laughs> but just, just go along with me. We're coming up here now. I think it, this is Vlas. We've just used that tar to get a two and a half thousand, and we're going to buy one quenching acid from him. It's yeah, he needs, to, accept any tar he needs to give his um, belly button a bit of a trim there, but he's got a lot of bump up in there. Yeah, just want to kill ourselves now. We've just bought that um, quenching acid from him. Just jump off, kill yourself from the full damage, and then you should spawn back at. There we go, you should spawn back here. And you should get a tarnished mask. That's a reward for dying. That's a reward ah. for your death. Yeah. When you this is the only moment you get rewarded for your death, by the way. Yeah, get a tarnished mask. Yeah, don't go around killing yourself all the time. Or use that as an excuse. You can only get a reward once. So once you've got a tarnished mask, guys, now we're heading to... It's... The dungeons, they don't. they can be done in any way and in any order. But this one's perhaps the most difficult, so... I think the word around the internet, and we like to say, we like to say this is a third dungeon, third out of three. Because it is the most difficult, so you do really want to hit this one last. But just head into it early, because we're just going to sprint through it, get the acid, and then walk back to um, Sinesta Ganesa. Yeah, I'm saying her name completely, totally. I know I am. Do not talk to any more. You will come across another one of her another one of her. The same one. Hey, she's got, she's got doppelgangers. She can be in many places at a time. I don't know. I don't know the reason. But you'll come across her again here. Um, straight ahead of you now you'll find her. There she is. Do not talk to her guys. Because if you talk to her, she's going to become your new sort of checkpoint. But we want to keep that one back in Fulgrim Tower at checkpoint. You'll find out in a minute. So just bring her through here. I've got no shell. I've got no shell guys. So... Ideally, you've got a shell, you can take a few more hits. If I take one hit, I'm dead, but I do know what I'm doing. You're just rolling through here, get through as quick as you can, guys. Open that chest, make sure your tarnished mask is short-cutted, so you can use it straight away. I should have mentioned that already. Make sure that mask 
is ready in your shortcuts. So as soon as you've got that acid, you can use it and walk back here. So now we've got two masks. We've got two masks, guys. Um, not two masks, we've got two acids. We're going to get a third one now. The third one is going to be in Fulgrim. You do get another one in Fulgrim in one of them mock chests. We can't actually open them until you've defeated your first boss. So what is this? I'm letting you get everything. I'm letting you fully upgrade your weapon before you have to fight any enemies, in essence. In essence. So just coming through here now, guys. That's a nice melody. Oh, maybe not. I guess I didn't like it as much as I thought. So you're coming up here now, and that chest just there at the back, we need to get in there, but it's too many enemies around at the moment. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just bait them or bait them away. If the big guy isn't coming for you, make sure you run back up to him, get his attention. I think what happens, and as he's standing up, he's sort of inactive and he cannot, he cannot actually become triggered to you until he's actually fully active and standing ready, you know, ready to fight. So make sure you've got him coming after you, make sure they're all triggered. And once you're all triggered, bring him down here, lure them away from that chest. So you can head back up there to that camp, open that chest and get acid three out of five. There it is. Shame you don't open the chest a bit quicker, but it is, it is what it is. So we're heading into the first, the first sort of light dungeon area now, um, the Shrine of Ash. So we're heading all the way up now, all the way up the steps. Yeah, just sprint past these enemies, roll past them. If you're using a shell, you're not going to be able to keep dodging, it, keep rolling all the time like I can. Again, do not talk to the lady on the left because we want to walk back to Fulgrim Tower in a second. So do not talk to her yet, we want to walk back to Fulgrim Tower. If you're planning to do this shrine straight up, this dungeon straight after, you can talk to her and walk back to her. Because there is a repair bench next to her, a workbench, um, an anvil. But just for the purposes of this guide, I want to walk back to Fulgrim Tower. So through this door, guys, the Monument of Ash. Yeah, through this door. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yep, they pant like dogs, don't they? There's one in this sort of sarcophagus. Make sure you get that, guys. It's hidden, that quenching acid. Make sure you examine that sort of standing sarcophagus type thing because there's the fourth quenching acid in that. And the fifth one is in another one of them standing sarcophaguses. But it's all the way through here. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. Take a left here. Straight ahead, uh, about uh, about eleven. It's about eleven o'clock. Yeah, there it is. The last quenching acid. The last quenching acid. Now I'm going to use that tarnish mask and walk back. The tarnish mask. It will use all your glimpses, guys. So if you've got a lot of glimpses, do not use that one. You do unlock a sort of fast travel ability later on. Let's you walk to any of the centers to Genesis, but you do not. You cannot actually purchase that until you've bought every single skill for a single cell shell. So you need to buy every single skill for a single shell guys in order to buy the fast travel item later on. Let's you fast travel anywhere. And here it is guys, we're at the workbench and we're fully upgrading the um, Halo Sword now just so, just so I can show you that I'm fully upgrading it. It'll go to plus five in every new game by the way you can upgrade it another five more. So new game plus plus ten, new game plus plus, plus fifteen etc etc. But the enemies do jump up quite a bit in health in in New Game Plus. New Game is the easiest, it's the easiest. And that's it guys, that's how you get all five quenching acids out of fully upgrade your weapon in the first 10 minutes. Like I say, if you do have any weapon, um, I've just done it for first weapon, just for you know convenience of this guy. That's it guys, keep an eye out for my no shell guide, which I'm going to be doing soon. I'm going to be doing a platinum speedrun, and I think I'm also going to put together um, Top seven, the top seven tips which you don't know. And that's it guys, I hope it helped and I will see you on the next vid.